Hello scientific audience, how are you all? So today I am back with a very good demonstration of electricity and magnetism and this is pertaining to grade 10. It is also known as the motor principle and here what am I going to do is I am going to pass electric current through a wire, it's basically a copper wire placed in a magnetic field and due to that the wire is going to experience a force. Now the expression of the force is here in front of you. Now you can see some vector notations over here. So since we do not know uh, the vector notations in grade 10, that's why we tend to explain this formula with the help of left hand rule, right? Fleming's left hand rule. So here F is the force, L is the length of the conductor and B is the magnetic field. So basically when you put the current carrying conductor in a magnetic field, it experiences a force governed by this particular equation. So here we have a battery eliminator. This battery eliminator works on the AC power supply and you can see that there is a knob which shows 0 volt, 2 volt, 4 volt, 6 volt, 8 volt, 10 volt till 12 volts. And this is going to give us the output in DC. So if I am going to connect it to the AC power supply, I am going to put in 220 volts of AC supply and in the output I am going to get 12 volts or 10 volts or desired output DC value. These are three stands and on one of the stands I have placed a U-shaped magnet north facing up and the south at the bottom. This is our copper wire and both the ends of the copper wire are attached to the stand with the help of two threads. This red wire is connected to the positive terminal of the battery and the black wire the other end is connected to the negative terminal of the battery. So the current flows like this, this, it goes in the black wire and then finally into the battery again. A complete circuit. Magnetic field is downwards from north to south. So here the knob is adjusted to 12 volts. So the current would be going like this through the red wire and then it would go like this and through the black wire it would come out and finally it would go into the and finally it will go into the battery. The white dot represents the south and the upper part represents the north and the magnetic field is directed downwards from north to south. This is the left hand thumb rule. The thumb and the other two fingers should be at an angle of 90 degree from each other. We can remember this as FBI. F stands for force, B for magnetic field, I for the current. So here magnetic field is downwards, current is in this direction. So the force is expected in the outward direction. So again current in this direction, magnetic field died, magnetic field is in the downward direction. So the force should be in the outward direction. Let's switch on the battery. As expected, the wire is pushed outside, which shows the force is in the outward direction. Now here I have made a slight change in the arrangement. The red wire is now connected to the negative terminal of the battery and the black wire is connected to the positive terminal of the battery. So now the current would come in like this. The magnetic field is still downwards. So as per the Fleming's left hand rule, 
the force is expected in the inward direction this time. The wire is expected to move inwards. There we go. So as we allow the current to flow through the circuit, the force is in this direction, inwards. Hopefully guys, you have enjoyed the experiment. Please do subscribe to my channel and please share my videos as much as you can. Thanks for watching the experiment.